Hello and welcome back to part two of the Epic GameCube Ultimate Mod Edition. So in our last video we changed out these LEDs in the front, or should I say added these LEDs in the front controller ports. Uh, today we're going to be doing what I call the fan or silent fan mod. So originally there is like a probably a 50 mil fan on the side here. Obviously these GameCube come out in early 2000s, 2001. So uh, technology and fans have moved on quite a bit so it is quite loud I can noticeably hear that let me put the, the old microphone near it one second so again the fan is quite loud so what we want to do is what I'm going to do is install this fractal silent um, R3 fan now this is 40 by 40 uh, by thickness is 10 so yeah 40 40 by 10 um, and to install this we're going to need a bracket now I'll throw it up on the screen now but there is this little bracket here that I pre-installed the fan into uh, which can be 3d printed now I actually bought this off eBay uh, before I had received my 3d printer which I actually have a 3d printer now and you can get this design for the bracket uh, on Thingiverse, so uh, if you've got a 3D printer, you can just download this, um, download this little bracket and, and print it out. So here's the fan itself. It's just this little, um, again, 40 mil one. Now I'm hoping this is going to be a lot quieter than the original one, even though the fan is smaller. There is another mod which I will throw up on the screen now that you can get on Thingiverse, and that is a, a whole new bracket, so you can fit a 50 mil. Uh, fan um, but the reason I went for the 40 mil is they, there was only one fan I think 50 mil you can actually get a Noctua you can get a little Noctua 40 mil fans I was tempted to buy one but I went for this sort of silent um, fractal one uh, in the end now obviously we are going to need to adapt it so the kit that I bought on eBay that comes with a little three pin adapter this one here uh, but again what you could potentially do is find out the correct um, colors and you could probably just cut it off and um, solder the wires together anyway um, so let's go ahead turn the GameCube off we're going to open him up so we'll just power him off take the old power cable out and exactly the same as we did last time we're going to flip it up onto its back and then we want to undo the four security screws in each corner using our security um, screwdriver now I've already done this because it was open earlier on so we can just we can just flip it back over and the front piece will um, just lift away like so okay so let's just pull this front piece out and get it out of the way that just unclips like so and we just pull this ribbon cable up and then we can move that out the way as well coming around the side here so this is our actual fan piece here see that okay in the uh, video yeah so we've got two Phillips screws one here and one here and then we've got the little fan header up here that connects up the top so again the bracket itself comes with two variants I think that is the wrong size so I don't get how they plan on using that bracket but we'll have a look at that in a in a oh I see the fan goes into that front one okay fan goes into that one there okay so let's go ahead and take these two Phillips screws out of here and this whole assembly just comes out this whole fan um, fan assembly I think it's just these two screws that it's held in by. Okay. If we go ahead, we can unpop this little red black power cable. That's just this power switch that then goes down to the motherboard. 
so we can take that out and then we're left with the actual fan piece itself so we can move the rest of the game cube out of the way be careful when manhandling this you don't want to damage the uh, laser on top so you could tape a little bit of uh, paper or something over there just so you don't damage it Again, what you can actually do is you can actually print out a whole new piece, this plastic piece here. Someone's made a cool design on, on a Thingiverse where you can actually fit a 50 mil fan in here from like, I uh, uh, can't remember the brand somewhere. There is a 50 mil van. Problem is brands like Noctua and this uh, fractal design, they're only in 40 mil. So what we obviously want to do I want to check the orientation so we've got our positive and negative on the motherboard there we've got our gray and black unplug the fan so i think this can actually go in two two ways i think there's a, a you know there is a i saw a picture somewhere where it can be two ways but i'm not sure if that is actually accurate you have to check okay so there's the fan piece i'm gonna need a smaller screwdriver bear with me I need to get a better light for doing this really. I need a light behind me, I think. Okay, so let's see if this fits. Yeah, this fits. So let's go ahead, pull out the original fan. I'm hoping the new one's gonna be a lot quieter because the original one is definitely noticeable anyway it's definitely like you can hear it from across the room so just unscrew the four screws in each corner and then this will actually just slide out that's just the old fan there where's our new bracket moment of truth does it fit so if we swing it around that way there's our cable that comes out the top it looks smaller but I'm confident that it's still going to do the same amount of cooling just down to how sort of you know how obviously these new little pc fans have sort of changed over the years and um you know technology's changed and i'm hoping that it still cools the same same amount well we'll soon find out if the gamecube overheats i guess So I picked this um, fan bracket up off eBay for like six quid. Um, you can just print it out yourself though. So it's probably best if you, you know, if you've got access to a 3D printer or you know someone who's got it, just search on Thingiverse for uh, GameCube and then scroll down the list, like on maybe one of the pages, like four or five pages in, you'll find it. It's not hard. Ah, you, come on. Okay, so there we go. We've added the bracket in, very straightforward mod. So we've got the old um, the old fan there. And that's just connected to the motherboard. Uh, let's try and lose some of this slack somewhere. Let's get the GameCube back. Here we go. So pop this back in the same place. Okay. 
Okay, so we just connect the f fan header into the motherboard, or should I say PCB, like so. Connect our mains power cable, like so. And what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to try tuck this away somewhere, because I will tidy this up at some point. But I just want to make sure that it works first. So what we'll do is we'll leave that out for now. Pop this uh, ribbon front piece back on. Down like that. So now if we put the power on. Put the power here. There it is. Like so. Oh, actually, I think my power is around the wrong way. Saying that. Just unplug that. Check my original fan cable. Because, like I said, I think there is two. Yeah, there is. So I think that's wrong around the wrong way. So I need to actually de-pin these and swap them around. Now, I do remember on the original eBay site, it did say that these um, power cables can be these power cables can be in two different sort of orientations. So going to do is just use a little pin to square that should come off that runs out So swap that one over like that. Yes, come on. There we go. Sorry, my camera's not very good. Okay, so I've had to swap the two little power leads around to match the positive and negative on on that one. Okay, so let's plug them in. Okay, so we can plug that one into there. Hey, there we go. Look, our little fans on. Look at that. I like it when the little little things just work. So let me just take my headphones off. Oh, that is so much quieter. That is silent compared to the fan we had before. Let's just try and get that up on the camera without be uh, breaking it. So again, although the fan is a little bit smaller than the than the original, um, it's definitely quieter. And I think it's still going to move the same amount of air. Let me just put the headset next to it a second. There. It's probably going to sound exactly the same on the actual camera um, than, than real life. But I really like that. A very cheap, simple little bracket there. Um, the fan was about six quid. I think I bought it off eBay brand, brand new from... I think it's supposed to be £10. Noctua fan, maybe a little bit overkill, but that, again, is only about £10. Um, if you don't want to pay on eBay, and you do have the printer, you could print out the bracket, and then you could just cut and solder the fan cables if you really want to. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to I'm gonna take all this off, because in our next video, we're going to be um, doing a different mod on here which i'm gonna to have to take all this apart anyway so for now that's how it's gonna stay um thanks for watching um if you've enjoyed this sort of series uh please leave a like and a comment let me know what you would like me to do to this gamecube or um you know any other mods um i'm kind of just going through the list at the moment 
Um, but again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.